Greetings, everyone. It is Sunday, the 19th of April, and I'm here working on some stuff with my uh, boat design. And I wanted to kind of share something with you. Not sure if I had before, but the process by which I designed the boat. Um, uh, basically, you create a program when you design, and a program is a written narrative of what you're trying to accomplish. And my program was basically a cruising sailboat. It started off with just one cabin. Um, and uh, I had actually no two cabins in a head and the ability to have at least seven foot headroom. And so when I came up with the basic design for my boat, uh, you know, a while back, you know, this was it here. Um, this was the original layout of the 50 foot boat, which you see. Um, um, forward, aft cabins. Um, various different other parts of the boat. Well, and there was not much, I mean, this is the basic hull shape, but that has changed since my conversation with Eric. And so then what I did was I created, I basically did a, a plan view, or well, not a plan, rather an ele elevation of the design, which is here. You know, it's basically a cut section, uh, established, um, station points or frame elevation station points um, again this has changed since my new iteration with Eric and then I proceeded to cut the boat up into little pieces you know at different points so see here station 2 station 4 and so forth and so on until I got into an area of the boat that would represent an actual space that I would you know, live in or whatever. So here is station 14. Again, this is my original 50 foot layout. So it's changed some. I think that's probably more like station hmm, maybe 16 in, in the new boat. At any rate, certainly has a model of me, you know, little, little belly here. <laughs> but this is basically a six foot six uh, model. And as you see, I can barely stand up in the forward cabin without hitting my head on the, um, the hull where the cabin top is, where the cabin top comes out. And if we take me over into the head here and see, you see I can situate myself nicely there. And so basically this was a process of creating these spaces within the boat, you know, to make sure that I would be able to uh, stand and have clear headspace. So in the galley, it's gonna be a little tricky. So if you see, I'm standing here it gets a little tight. You know, I think this was supposed to be six foot 11 in the galley. Um, so as you see here, it's my boat's got a lot of freeboard, but it's for a good reason. And if we come across to what's one of, gonna be one of my favorite places that I call Media Lounge, it's really a, a really great sea berth over here. You see, I have to walk basically underneath of what would be a seat in on the deck or in the um, the pilot house or on the, um, what is it called? In the uh, cockpit, uh, basically the seating, you see how, how it is over here in the galley, basically underneath the seating on in the cockpit and in the pilot house is, you know, room for me to walk. So there won't be any lazarette or locker there. That's actually space that I need to be able to stand up in my boat. And of course, um, uh, let's see the head, which is another important area. <laughs> um, you know, it's the same situation here. I could hopefully take a leak <laughs> and uh, not hit my head. I think I'm, I'm, I actually may have moved the toilet or the head rather over here and um, you know, giving more space for a shower on this side or for what would be a shower at port. Or I'm trying to figure out a way to get a bench and a water maker and really be able to bathe while cruising. Um, I don't like to be funky and <laughs> I may mandate that everyone on board has to sit down and bathe themselves at least every other day. So yeah, that's that there. So just a quick video to show you part of my design process. 
as I'm ramping up to begin construction on the actual boat. Again, I just posted a video today of the um, strong back, and see, that's me. It's me helming here. <laughs> and uh, hopefully you got a chance to check that out. If not, uh, look for the video I posted earlier today. And if you have any questions in particular when it comes to my design process or anything around this construction process, let me know. I really want to share and maybe improve on my processes before we get too far involved. Oh, this is something else I want to show. So this is an elevation um, of what I considered my port side. And I can take myself and place me in the aft cabin. And as you see here, it's, you know, just enough room there in the aft cabin. And this line here represents the floor or the sole of the cockpit and how that's, you know, that's going to be in the center of the boat. So when I'm in the aft cabin, you know, this will be on the sides of it. And if I want to lay down, of course, I, uh, how do I do this? I'm show off, not show off. That's me laying down in the aft cabin. Uh, I guess I better not stick my head out of the, the hull there. But, um, <laughs> you know, it was a, a process that I really enjoyed and I thoroughly vetted. Of course, the actual construction may differ somewhat. So back here in the heads. And if you notice also, the red lines indicate the sole elevation. The sole elevation does change. Um, and, and again, you have to remember this Cock this line here is the cockpit and pilot house. This is the actual sides of the hull um, where you'd walk from the cockpit, you know, forward. You would walk on this elevation here. So that actually gives me plenty of headroom inside the boat um, as well. And here's the elevation in the salon. Plenty of space. It's going to be voluminous here. Uh, you know, this will be a really good. Uh, space to be and in the forward cabin as well plenty of room here as well so that's it for today i guess we'll see what else i come up with as we start the big build peace and blessings